Hey, it's Daryl from Barbecue Superstars, and me and we finally got a meat packing plant. But this is a very special meat packing plant. Uh, it's a, the smoking goose. Uh, I don't know why I keep wanting to call it the smoke goose, but it's the smoking goose. And uh, we've got the owner right here. What's your name, buddy? Chris Ely. Okay, Chris, nice to meet you. And uh, where are you from? I'm from Indianapolis, okay. Indianapolis, Indiana. Okay, I thought you might be from a town outside. And uh, tell us a little bit about your uh, operation here. I know that you've got a meat packing. You've sort of got a little food for across the street that's right. a semi. I won't call it a restaurant. She said she said you might get mad if I call it a restaurant. But uh, uh, let's start off with your meat packing organi organization here. Uh, basically, what we do is our smoked and cured meats. Uh, so all from dry fermented. Uh, dry cured meats, uh, whole muscle animals, um, all locally raised, um, locally sourced, and then we butcher in-house, seam butchery, uh, and then fresh sausages, all types of smoked meats, and uh, that sort of thing. So we don't, we don't strictly just repack raw meat, we, we either smoke or cure it in some fashion or form. Wow, man, and then also, uh, I seen you had elk. We do, yep, uh, from Carly Elk Farm uh, in Atlanta, Indiana, so oh, he, wow. yeah, he raises uh, elk for us. And uh, so we've been working with him for a little bit now. Okay. Uh, well, then uh, uh, Greg from over there at that other farm, um, he said, yeah, yeah he said it, he'll he'll bring you a little bit of uh, a pork over here. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, <laughs> quite a bit. So yeah, we uh, we usually take about 15 hogs a week from him. Um, so that's, he's our he's the guy that we buy the majority of our our pork from. So. Okay. Yeah. Wow, man, big time. Now uh, tell us now about how the restaurant came about and, and how you work at that. Well, first of all, it's not a restaurant. <laughs> 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 what is it, an eatery? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's an eatery. You know, it's it's casual. I mean, we serve food across the street at the brewery, and, uh, uh, you know, we just do a small menu here and, and, and across the street. So, yeah, with the meat locker, we just open it up a couple days a week to the public. I mean, our business is primary wholesale, but uh, so, so we sell to hotels and restaurants. Okay. Uh, but we open the, this room up, the meat locker room up, um, uh, three days a week. So. Okay, now... You know, my my uh, uncle used to own a meat locker up in Ohio, and uh, what he did was like there were spaces for people to bring their meat to store for the winter. Or is that is that how it works? That sort of thing. Okay. Not really. I mean, we we pretty much do all our own products. We do about 40 different products. Um, we do do some custom stuff for some of the guys, uh, some of the farmers. But uh, majority of what we do is bring in and dry cure our own, ferment it, and then and sell it as our product. Well, I tell you, he's got some great looking stuff. We've got some pictures on the wall, and I seen bone sucking sauce over there. So he's he's really connected with the barbecue world. And uh, with your permission, I mean, would it be okay if we did just a little tour and seen what you do and everything? Sure, no problem. Okay, one question before we go. Now uh, I know this will be up for 50 years, but uh, it is the Super Bowl week. Since we're here with the Super Bowl, uh, who's going to win? This is 2012, and uh, the Giants and the uh, Patriots are playing. So so who you got? Well, you know the Pats aren't going to win in Indianapolis. <laughs> but I'm definitely going sticking with Manning boys and uh, and the Giants. So. Oh, you know what? The brothers play. I didn't really put that together till just now. Uh, and they're in Indianapolis. And how do you feel about them being in the Colts locker room? The Patriots? Oh, I don't like it one bit. <laughs> they, they hung some pictures up on the stadium, and that, that was the last straw for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to do an exciting tour. We're excited about meatpacking. This is Daryl going to hang out with the Smoking Goose in Indianapolis, Indiana, as we move on. I have it hooked up, probably hooked to that wall. Uh, I'll show you the room from the other side. Uh, I don't have anything in there right now, but uh, uh, we can uh, cold smoke sometimes a lot of stuff in there for 8, 10, 12 days at a time. Wow. So it just, uh, just hangs out there and picks up smoke flavor. And, uh, oh, most of it's a lot of dry cured stuff. Uh, we'll cold smoke our bacon uh, before we hot smoke it, so really kind of just a two smoking process. It's a, go ahead and walk through that, it's a shoe sanitizer. Oh, okay. So just sanitize your shoes before you come in. Well, I love the way everything is so white and clean. <laughs> that, that's the whole key to everything, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. This ain't 1780. <laughs> yeah, this room, this is a ready to eat side. Uh, so this is where all the, the smoke, like our, both of our smoke houses are on this side, our dry curing and fermenting room on the other side, and also where we slice, package, all that happens on this side. So this side is real strict because uh, basically a lot of the stuff that comes out of here won't receive any further cooking before somebody consumes it. Um, this, this, is our, uh, this is our aging room. Dry cured. Uh, wow. Uh, dry cured whole muscle cuts and, uh, and the slime is involved in there. Okay. 
What, what type of meat is this right here? Uh, that's a silver side. Okay, and then what's this one? Uh, that's the uh, tag on that one. Uh, that's the Slavia Picante. Slavia Picante, the Dodge City, uh, the Jua. We have uh, one child who's dry cured pork jowls from in cold smoked. Wow. Uh, pancetta. Folks, I can smell the I can smell the smokiness in it. Is that hickory or oak? No, uh, we do oak, persimmon, cherry, and hickory. Oak, persimmon, cherry, and hickory. Can you wash out the about the process so you'll get the whole hogs from that fella yeah. bring them in and they'll uh, they'll already be no you'll have to you'll have to uh, you cut them down cut them down So we burn logs, just fill the smoke in the room. Naturally, it vents out of the out of the top of the room here. Wow, I can smell the smoke in here, just like it's being smoked right now. <laughs> wow. No, you don't clean the walls, but we clean the floors because you get a lot of dirt. Right. Uh, but the, the walls, we don't. Uh, you know, just by being in here because of the walls, it smokes. It doesn't. Yeah, you'll still smell like smoke coming out of the room. <laughs> so we can get up to about 1,500 pounds in there at a time. 1,500 pounds. Yeah. Uh, bacon goods. For bacon goods. Oh, bacon goods. Wow, bacon bits. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's our chill cooler here. Uh, so there's some pan that came out. So it's come out as well. They come to this room and chill down the temperature. So some more slow pans. You know, now to me, one thing I'd like to say right here is, uh, it looks like you'd have to charge a lot of money because these things are more made out to the T. And uh, folks, don't ever complain about what you pay for it because there's a lot of love and work went into each one of these things. Hey, buddy. Hey, All right. So he's packing up bacon there. We got a. Smoked turkey breast, chow bacon on this table. Let's get ready to be packaged. Wow, smoked turkey breast. How much do they weigh? That's like two pounds well, a piece. Are, or... Those are chow. That's chow bacon. Oh. These are the turkey breasts oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> those are about two pounds a piece. Yeah. They're huge, man. Now, folks, some people do a whole lot of talking. This man's doing a whole lot of cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try this at home. This is only for the professional. Wow. So this is the end of the investigation. We're working kind of working backwards. This is where we do our cut. Good buddy, how you doing? All right. Press, press. Bring all the cards in. Man, I'm just so impressed with how clean. My God, man. You guys must work on cleaning as much as you do on the beach. I mean, it's beautiful in here. Okay, so as we look around the room, uh, where would they bring the hog in from? Okay. And then first stop this table or? Uh, it depends on what we're doing. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, just kind of the, end, uh, the other. So we do formulation of sausages, salt curing, brining, curing, uh, breaking down the whole animal. Sure. come in, receive them, hold them in here, uh, they get cut down and portioned out. So we're at the end of our week now, so all our pigs come in at the beginning of the week. Now everything's almost, almost everything's into production now by the end of the week. And, uh, and, uh, and that's what we have left for today. guys go to the meat market and think you're buying belly ribs that's real belly ribs <laughs> that's like belly ribs side right there this is on the property in here uh this is all stuff that we package or oh, yeah. set up for next week so it's sauces that we make we pack and seal and take it right in the case right. now these boston butts right here have been packaged by them they did it actually themselves in this uh as half as much as barbecue superstars does and and you know I just like to say to you sir that uh, uh, God blesses certain people yeah. you know what I mean yeah. and I can tell you're a real humble guy <laughs> and uh, you know I just like to say on the way out is that uh, this fellow's got a massive beautiful clean outstanding operation and uh, when I walked in here and seen him he's such a humble guy and I could feel God's blessing on him and I tell you what, uh, Smoking Goose, Dorman Street Meadery down in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, man, we're, we're hoping the stars for you. We need one of these in every major city. Let this guy get on top of it because of the blessing I feel. And uh, I mean, I just want to give you one second to say uh, uh, what does all this mean to you that you've been able to bring it this far and that you're at the place that you're in right now. Well, I would definitely just enjoy what we're doing and enjoy working with the people that we work with. And uh, 
you know, it's, it's again about the food. We, you know, bring people together with food, and that's what we enjoy. And that's, that's the best part about it. So, Man, my God. Well, this is Daryl from Barbecue Superstars, and this guy is a barbecue superstar. Now, we got a page of honor uh, that all the top barbecue people on, and you might not ever compete, but you're, you're automatically going on the page. And, and the flavoring, the smoking, the cold smoking, uh, the aging, uh, and and that in the corner there one. What did you say? You were dry. What were you? Oh, dry curing. Yeah. Dry curing. Uh, I mean the processing of meat. And look, friends, knock a few steps out. If you do a big catering job, buy 500 pounds of his dry cured meat and and send it on up there. And then look. Put it right on the grill. You're not up all night. You're not sweating it out. I got a thousand people to feed, and uh, I, I haven't got my, you know. So let him do the work for you. And uh, what's your name again? Chris. Chris Ely. Chris Ely. And uh, how could people get in touch with your business? Well, probably the best way is on our website, smokingusestop.com, or uh, just call us three one seven six three eight meat. So we'll get you taken care of. Three one seven six three eight meat. Three one seven six three eight meat. All right, you got that right here. Now we're going to go down to the to the party. We got a huge tailgating thing. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you so much. Thank His you. name is synonymous with barbecue for the rest of my life. And uh, this is Daryl having the best time he ever had in, in uh, Indianapolis, Indy. We got meat packing, and I'm putting it up. So uh, make sure you go to the website and check it out, and uh, on Outdoor Cooking Channel and wherever else this might end up. This is Daryl from Barbecue Superstars. We love you.